Well, it might be getting warmer outside. Of course, we're all happy about that. But is it time to actually start spring planting? Here to give us some answers this morning, NDSU Extension horticulturist Esther McGinnis. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So a little early to be planting, I assume? Yes. I know we're all just itching to get out and to plant, but I'm telling people, be a little patient. Um, the ground is too wet and it is too cold. So, you know, when it's still muddy, we don't want to be walking through the garden because we're going to compact the soil. So we want to make sure that it dries out first. And then we start thinking about soil temperatures and such. We want it to be 40 degrees. But I, I've, I sent a couple of graphics here that will just show you that we may not be in the right spot yet. Mm -hmm. So our first graphic shows you the average last frost date for North Dakota. So this was for the last 30 years. And you can see we've got the scale on the bottom. The reds are showing that from May 2nd to May 4th is the average last frost date for Richland mm -hmm. County. We get into Cass County and we're looking somewhere between May 5th and May 10th is our wow. average last frost mm. date. But is this going to be applicable this year? We don't know because these are just averages. So instead, we want to be looking at soil temperatures. So that's the next map that I have. Now this map is through the North Dakota Agricultural Weather Network, NDAWN, N-D-A-W-N. So you can go to their website and look at the soil temperatures for your area. Oh. But you can see. We're, yeah. We're in the low 30s. And where do you want it to be? You said 40? We want to be at least 40 degrees before okay. we start planting. Wow. And that would be for your cool season crops, your lettuces, kale, spinach, radishes, onions. So that's, that'll be good to plant once we get to 40 degrees. What about warm season crops? You know, your tomatoes, eggplants, peppers. We wait to transplant that until the soil temperatures are about 60 degrees and the night temperatures are over 55. So we may not get to it until like August. <laughs> I know, I, mean, I know. It feels like yeah. it, but once we have next week some of those higher temps, if we do we'll reach okay. that six zero on Sunday, we'll feel better. I hope so. And I think those soil temperatures are going to come up pretty quickly here. Oh, so good. good. So you just that. keep logging on and keep looking at it. They update it pretty often? They update it every day. Nice. Nice, okay. So what's the next, what do you want to talk about next? Well, what we could be doing now. So you want to be going to your cupboard and seeing what seed you have. If you have leftover seed, you can test it to see if it's still viable. So this is called the ragdoll method uh, of testing seed germination. <clears throat> so what you do is you take a paper towel. So I just have a paper towel here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wet it. It's just a bowl of water. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to wring that out because we don't want it sopping wet, just moist. And then we open it up and we can certainly put seed on it to germinate. So I'm going to have you put 10 squash seed here. Okay. <clears throat> so we're just going to put them in the paper towel. And, and this is just a good way to see, you know, what percentage of seeds are going to germinate. Now, if you have fresh seed that you purchased this year, you don't have to do it. Right. But if it's been sitting in your cupboard for, you know, for a year or two, you want to see, you know, are we going to get 10% germination? Are we going to get 60, 80? So we... Oh. We just fold that up and we put it in a plastic bag. So very easy method. And then you put it in a warm spot, like top of your refrigerator, mm -hmm. check it every two days, um, and then total up your, your seed germination. Now it's not all going to germinate in two days, but you know, check it regularly. And then after a week or so, yeah, a week or two, check the final germination. And then that'll tell you, if you've got 10% seed germination, maybe you should go buy a new packet of seeds. Right. You know, if you've got 70%, maybe seed at a little higher rate. That way you don't waste yeah. anything too. I really like that. Maybe you didn't get around to it last year. You had extras. So that's a perfect way to test it. Of course, we'll be talking more about what to do now to get ready for gardening season when we come back.